<laughs> so the first test is almost here uh, over at Perth Stadium, Thursday morning, local time. Obviously, perfect for us that are going to stuck, be stuck here on the Eastern Seaboard. Um, Hads, you'll be at the test for Triple M. Um, Hills, you'll be on a plane, if not arriving. We'll be in Terra India, Firma, yeah. So in India. Work out those timings. So we're going to be spread out. But uh, what do we make of, of what we've come up with? It feels like now, and I've heard this mentioned a lot now, about World Test Championship, every test counts. It's kind of changed the narrative. And personally, as a fan, I'm thankful for it because I was sick of these questions about we need to start blooding players. Surely that's not what a test team is for. A test team is to pick, pick the best 11 cricketers available at that time and play them in a game of cricket. Am I wrong here? No, and I, I've never seen in, in test cricket people get blooded. You, 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 everyone who plays the test matches earned their stripes to, to play on that day. This, this test match is going to be an interesting start to the summer. Pa- Pakistan are a really hard team to plan for. Mm. Uh, they're, they're unpredictable. They have some world-class players at the top of their game. They, they can influence the result. It's just whether they're willing to stand in front of this Australian team for long enough and win those little bat- battles throughout the day. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting start. barber has got to play really well. He's got to have, I think, a landmark series uh, to compete with Australia. And, and Afridi's got to be able to knock the top order over. If he can knock the top mm. order over and put some pressure on the, the lower, to, um, lower to middle order, then all of a sudden Pakistan could be a different um, team. But I, I'm, I'm finding it hard to, to find a way Pakistan can get over this Australian team. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I'm on the bandwagon of you yeah, don't just give people test matches. I think I've, mm. I've been... Is that part of your presentation? Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> you got to earn it. Um, but I've been right. like, well, I'm married to a guy that has sort of been rested right throughout his career and not played every test match that he was available for. And yeah. I see how hard he works for it. And then to turn around and go, oh, maybe give Lance Morris a go. And who, which one of those fast bowlers are you telling that they're not going to play? Not one of them nope. is going to step aside and say, no way. You'll, you'll play when you're good and ready. So I, I I think we should be full strength the whole time. There's there's no real point in resting players or if, if it's not necessary or giving young players a go. No. I think it's you play your best team at, at every opportunity because you only get a finite amount of test matches throughout your career as well. You're not saying no to one, I would have thought. Dave Warner has been the storyline in the last week, let's be honest. Oh, really? <laughs> Barely must noticed. Be test, <laughs> must be a test summer. What is par for Davey in the first test? I, you know what? I, I think Davey will take it away from himself. You, you can't be thinking about what's par. If I get 40 runs here, I'm right for the next one. If I get 60, he, he's got to be thinking about how do I contribute to the, to the win for this team? Um, and, and if you're thinking about that, to play your role in the team, and his role is to, to be aggressive at the top. If he can put the pressure straight back on the Pakistan bowlers, make them second guess their, their lengths early in the test match, well, well, he's done his job. I'm, I'm not here. If he gets this amount, he, he plays because it's the style of game that he offers. He, he said he wants to finish in, um, in, in Sydney, and, and he's got the opportunity to, to start that campaign now. He, he's mm. just got to go out there, play his role on the team, not think about anything else. Don't think about the second test or the third test. Just play your role, be aggressive, um, feel the way he does, and, and create energy. And, and everything else will just start to pan itself out. Yeah, I... Well, I think he's got to ton up just to just to keep everybody quiet. I mean, if he if he makes a fifty or sixty in the first innings and and does his job, then I think he's fine. But I think to get everybody off his back, I think we got to see one of his big Toyota jumps and at some point you can throughout officially this, do it now as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, think, do you think? I think no- we got to see one. Yeah. Do, do you think though that that noise to keep everyone off his back is just outside noise because we've seen over the last twenty four months he, he's in the team. He, so but there's a lot of outside noise, but there's always yeah. a lot of outside know, noise when yeah. it comes with Davey. So it's, it's even if we're like you said, Mitchell Johnson's article this week, Davey had a really good response to that. Um, he, he's just sort of let that go. So I, yeah, it'd be great. Um, personally that he, he, he tons up, but I, I just feel like he, he's in the team. Um, he'll, he'll play his role and, and I don't think there's that much noise um, in the team about his position as there is outside. No, I don't think so. I think George Bailey came out and, or Andrew McDonald came out and said, there's no guarantees, but he wasn't talking about Davey. He was talking about everyone, everyone. right? And yep. I think if you're not performing, then talks of your, your spot in the side will come up, but it's just more so that there's been ample talk about his spot in the side for a long period of time. So the, the other position is Mitch Marsh in. Cam Green, Mitch Marsh, they want, both of them in there eventually, it feels like. Well, but, oh, yeah, I, you dare say that it's only line for Murphy out of the, the ashes. Yeah, well, 
Mitch Marsh, I thought, was outstanding during the Ashes. When he mm-hmm. came into the team, he actually gave the team a lot of energy. Um, he, he's 100, um, really counteract. Um, so what, you're picking him? Well, <laughs> we spent a lot of time with Green. We, we spent a lot of time um, getting him. He's a test match player in, in the making. He looked a bit uh, tired um, at, at that time. He had IPL, and, and it was probably the first experience he ever had have, of have fatigue and being away from home. I, I think Mitch plays. Uh, but is is that a conversation piece? Do you go back to I've oh, spent a lot of time with with Green, or we give you a bit of a break? And Mitch, this is your spot for as long as you like. Mm. Well, I think judging by Cameron Green playing the Prime Minister's eleven, it's a Mitch Marsh you're playing yep. situation. But I mean, that conversation will come up at some point throughout the summer. I, I would have thought, but maybe not for Mitch Marsh. It might be for David Warner, or it might yep. be for another batter. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But it looks like it's pretty much how we ended the Ashes, going to that one with with Nathan Lyon, obviously. With the the first test, it'd be interesting how if there's nerves for David Warner, given all the all the talk, especially if he has to walk out and they put a triple M Mitch Johnson right down where the players <laughs> walk out, and maybe that could be a bit of theatre that the guys can think about as part of things. <laughs> you love Probably this. not happening. <laughs> um, but has with the notion of nerves, so, so you were a, a nervous guy just before you went out. Um, you were known to become the, the chunder from down under um, on <laughs> many times. So much nerves, actually. What about first test? Did, did you like? Did you really spill them first? No, first it, test. It, it didn't always happen. Um, it wasn't. It was just I so saw you work yourself up to hmm. to get out there in the contest. It wasn't that I was nervous. Uh, I, I actually don't really know why it happened. Um, but sometimes it did. First well, test of summer. not calm. Sounds like you maybe should have got that looked at. Mm, I, I should have. <laughs> Chemical <laughs> reaction. I might have been hung over. Yeah, well, I no, I wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. The, the first test of summer for me was always um, ultra exciting. You, you've got a, a big lead in. You, you've done all the, the work away. Your form's... Um, Red hot normally at that time because you're looking to peak. And, and ours was always at the Gabba. We were getting ready to play the first summer um, game at the Gabba. We'd, we mm. never lost there. Mm. Um, we played those conditions well. So I, I miss that, actually. I, I miss it. The first test is, is not at the Gabba. Yeah. Uh, and probably not going to happen anytime soon if they knock oh. the joint down oh. and build that little place up at the Ecker where they have the Ecker and cricket has to chime in $90 million or whatever it is. That story from last week. Just on Pakistan, guys, I've got a good look at them for the three days that we're on for the Prime Minister 11, <laughs> I get the sense, okay, this is a mob that have come down here since November 1995 when Mushtaq Ahmad took nine wickets at the SCG. They haven't won a test match. 1995. I was still in high school. Yeah. That was five. That was a bit of hair and a few wrinkles developed since. Yeah, you were five. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> yeah. I, was thinking, well, I, was, I think I was just about to leave school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you made it through to year yeah, 12. Yeah. I'm just surprised. <laughs> um, so it's been so long. It's 14 losses on the bounce. I get, I look at their top five and think, actually, there's a bit of talent there. Sharma Sood, double ton, totally different wicket in Canberra to Perth. But um, Abdullah Shafiq, decent. Imam Hulak, don't know what he's going to come up with. He's in the all Huck family, so he's got a bit of talent, obviously. Um, Barbara Azam, on his day, one of the true greats of, of modern cricket. And Saw Shaquille, who's an improving player, who's made five his own. So if they if they can navigate our battery of greats, the four of them, maybe, maybe, but I just can't see their bowling unit getting, yeah. getting 20 wickets. The batting's not the problem. It's the their game. bowlers. I mean, when one... When two of their quickest bowlers in the country, one doesn't want to play and the other one's injured, it makes mm. it really, really hard for them. They've literally just relying on a Freedy to come in and take early wickets. You never know. They might come up with, with someone that, that does come out and, um, and take wickets. But I mean, as soon as someone like Harris Rouse said, no, I'm not playing, I'm going to play the big bash instead, mm. it makes it really hard for them because he's, he's the X factor, right? I mean, it, mm. he's going to put a little bit of fear into the Australian batters, whereas that lineup doesn't really seem very fearsome at the moment. Especially without Ab, uh, Abra Ahmed who injured himself in Canberra. Now he's a, if you haven't seen him, he's only played a few tests, but he's got, he, on debut against England, he had five wickets before lunch. Now England were trying to hit everything to India <laughs> <laughs> there in Pakistan, but still he's, he's a talented bowler. He's, uh, he's going to miss there, the first test at yeah, least. There, there's no question about Pakistan's talent. We, we, we won't, can't sit here and say they're not talented cricketers and you can go through one to five. You can talk about their bowlers. It's just whether they've got the appetite to do those little things for a long period of time 
against this fast bowling unit. Mm. You've got left arm that bowls around at 140. You've got um, Hazelwood's line and leg. Um, Camo can play different roles, but then you've got Nathan Lyon. It's well, whether they can stand in front of the Australians for long enough and, and compete. And that's that's been the question all the time. Pakistan's team always come out with, with talent. They always come out with a lot going on off the field. They've changed their backroom staff. So nothing's happened. Nothing's different's changed. Mm. It's just well that this team has the appetite to stand in front of Australia for long periods of time and, and make a difference in these conditions that are so foreign to them. Nothing different's changed. I'm trying to get my head around that one. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Are you happy with him saying that Mitch around 140s there, not consistently over 140? He's 33, he's aging. Yeah, he's, he's coming back. But Apparently what, they're all too old at the minute, yeah. so <laughs> well, the point of it all, pull up. Yeah. <laughs> the point of it all is, is they're talented. Yeah. yeah. But w- whether they'll stand in yeah. front of them and, and win those little moments where you have to in test cricket, that's what we all doubt. PM's 11 from Australia's perspective, I mean, it's heard of as a, maybe a, an audition for that opening spot and Matty Renshaw, uh, 136 not out. It wasn't a glorious innings, like a, an oil painting of an innings, but he, he grafted an innings out, which was very impressive powers of concentration, batted all day on day three. But, um, anyone jump out? Like was it Renshaw the story out of that one for, from an Australian perspective or was it as you were type feeling? I don't know. Yeah. It was a bit of a nothingness and I, I mean, he made a hundred, so we shouldn't really say that, but it was touted as like a bit of a bat off and then mm. everyone sort of did the same thing. So yeah, I don't know. I, I've always thought that Matty Renshaw would replace Warner. Like yeah. That's genuinely who I've always believed. I mean, there's obviously some backstory with Cameron Bancroft, which might make it tricky for him to come back into the side, even though he's made a mountain of runs. It's always a little bit, no one's really sure what's going to happen there. Hmm. Um, and Marcus Harris has sort of just churned out runs every year, so I don't know. But I always thought that Matty Renshaw had a little bit of flair in him that – you know, if you are going to replace someone like Warner, I, I thought that he would be naturally the, the person to go to. So that the scores in that game probably reflect the way I'm thinking about what changes might happen after the CG test. Test series predictions. Just uh, let's get it back on this track, shall we? We're going to revisit these, of course. We're going to hold you to these. This is what happens with predictions. We kind of like record them, producer Sam puts them all up, and at oh the end of the series mm. basically says how stupid you look. It, like we haven't spoke to Greg Blewett after the World Cup, but he did say on the cusp of the World Cup that Rohit Sharma was under pressure and he's not. A, he, it looks like he doesn't want to be captain anymore. <laughs> and then <laughs> that happened, Ooh. so it didn't quite happen. Shout out the Bluey. Hope you're well, mate. <laughs> Hitting him well on the golf course. Uh, okay, Test Series predictions. Day of the series, Nathan Lyon takes wicket 500. What's he on now? He's got four to go. Four to get. Day three. Okay. So we're going to bat for two days and then he'll... Yeah. Uh, day two. I'm going to get him first. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say boxing day. Boxing day. Ooh. I'm going to say that the pace boys are going to dominate over there. Yeah. But you know what happens when the pace boys dominate? Yeah. You throw the ball to the spinner at the end and you say from seven, eight and nine, say, listen, if you block Nathan Lyon for one ball, <laughs> I'm going to bring the quicks back to yeah. bowl bumpers. So okay. you can either slog line and get out <laughs> or they're going to hurt you. Yeah, I think it's in the morning of day two. Okay. We bowl first. Number of wickets Lance Morris takes against Pakistan? Zero. Zero. Oh, listen to you two. <laughs> well, he's not in the team. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you got skin in the game over here as well. So, <laughs> not that you don't want him in the team, you just can't no, see just, it. Happening I can't see it. Happening. I can't see it at the moment. It does sound like he's next. Yeah, he's, of course. He's on the cab rank and he's got the next. Well, he's like for like, right? I think if Mitch goes down, Lance plays. If Josh goes down, Scotty Bowen might play. Okay. I'm I'm assuming that's the way that they would lean. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. David Warner needs 178 runs to hold the record for the most Test runs by an opener for Australia. Does he make it? Oh, yes. Yep. I reckon he'll get him in the day. first test. Oh, the first, first test? test. Like second, te- second test? Second test. Right, I'll just I'll spread it all in. out. I'll go third test. Okay. SCG will do it. It's not a very good series if he doesn't get there. It's just quietly. <laughs> Six digs and not 178 runs. Fingers crossed for Davey. Uh, who will score more runs? <laughs> all the New South Wales players combined or the non-New South Wales players combined? Is Usman, Gee, is Usman Usman counted yeah. as a New South Wales player? No, no, no. no. Oh. Bulls player. Yeah. So what's that? Queensland player. Warner Even though Smith. he hasn't played a lot for Queensland this Shield season so far. Warner, Warner Smith, going to boxing Stark, Cummins, Hazelwood. Lion. Lion. So there's six of them. 
you know, it's if you're going to say no. If you if, no, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? Well, all the run getters are not near so well, apart from there Smith and Warner. Uh, no, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go the other way as well. No, as no. well. Yeah, I think the non New South Wales are going to get there. I'm not in this, but I'll say yes. <laughs> it's it's all down to you two as well. Number of times a night watchman is used, both teams. I hate night watchmen. I, I think they should be banned from the game. I'm going to say it, they're not going to be used. Twice. Twice. And is it a night watch person these days? Not a night watchman. Oh. That's too far uh, piece. Well, it's just, <laughs> don't worry about it's it. just Nathan Lyon. Yeah. <laughs> there is like there is man at the end of woman, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> we can we can move on. <laughs> yeah. Um, you said twice. You said never because yeah. you hate the idea. Oh well, Nathan Lyon might be a little gun shy now after yep. the yeah. coffee car. Uh, which test does Steve Smith go past Steve War for the second most test hundreds for Australia? How many does he need? He needs two, one, one to equal. One to beat. Oh. He needs one. Which test? I'll go first test. Uh, you know what? I'd like to see it in the first test. Mm. But I'm going I'm to say Sydney. I was in Sydney yeah. too. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Melbourne then. Did you see how well he was seeing it? I know it was a big bash game. Yeah. But that flick off. I just, like, think, I just oh. think Shaheen is a really nice angle to Steve Smith. So I think he's going to have his work cut out for him. But I, mm. I in, in Perth, but I dare say that he will lap it up in Melbourne. He likes bat in Perth. I, mm. I, I want to say, but I, I want him to do it at the SCG. Yeah, that'd be cool. Imagine the crowd. The record for the most dismissals in a three-test series between Australia and Pakistan is 18. Mm. Who holds that? I'm guessing you. Oh. It's you the be... first time you've been nice to me today, actually. Well, I didn't like the question. <laughs> <laughs> Will that record be matched broken? Bradley had an 0 No 9 10 No yep. way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It will be? Yep. Alex Carey? No way! They'll hit the stumps. The the from six from seven down, they'll be outside leg. They'll just have to bolt the stumps. You won't get a chance to catch them. 